Hello, welcome to another leaf map tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a, a leaf map with Jupiter Light. So, first, let me show you what it looks like. Um, so, recently, I've added a, a lot of a new features to the leaf map uh, package, and one of those is to the uh, improvement to the documentation website. So, now we have the dark mode. If you enjoy the dark mode, you can just uh, click uh, toggle this uh, switch here, and then you can switch to the dark mode. And you might also notice uh, I have a new button here showing you how you can try this one out uh, with uh, Jupiter Light. So you can think about Jupiter Light is a lightweight computer environment, um, just like Jupiter Lab, but it's running within your browser. So you don't need any cloud computing environment. It's basically uh, running within your local computer, and you don't need to install anything. You just open the link, then you should be able to. Uh, use it directly. If you want to learn more uh, about Zupier Light, you can just uh, Google it. Uh, you should be able to find the documentation uh, website. If you're already familiar with Zupier Light, uh, you will have no um, troubles using uh, Zupier Light. But not everything uh, that Zupier Lab supports uh, also available in Zupier Light is basically lightweight, and some of the features are not available. But the nice thing is. You can deploy that as a static website that means it's scalable so and because it doesn't require a server to host this one you can deploy this one uh, for example on uh, github page uh, it's free it's static and there will be no security issues uh, because it's static and anyone can open a link so you can tens of thousand people can open at the same time it will not have any issue but if you're trying that for example on uh, binder or google collab uh, sometimes you might have issues because um, there's only limited amount of resources but if the static website it's much more uh, scalable so i'm going to show you how you can use that just click the link uh, it should take you to the home page uh, basically this is the zupi light and this one is hosted on github pages um, and if you want to find out for example where are the files you can click here uh, read me and you can go to the github uh, repository that i just created uh, so here inside uh, essentially we have uh, some of the notebooks and workshops and also data uh, similar to the jupyter uh, the leaf map uh, uh, repository so it's under here no examples notebook workshops and data so basically copying the data uh, example from here but i make some changes automatically so that uh, you can run the notebook without having to make any changes. So next, I'm going to show you how you can uh, get started. On the left side here, click Notebooks, and you should be able to see all the notebook examples that I created for Leaf Map. You will also be able to use that directly here. So if on the Leaf Map uh, homepage, right? So Notebooks. If you scroll down, you should be able to find number uh, from zero to sixty-one. So now we have sixty-one tutorials you will be able to run some of those directly within Jupyter Live. Again, it's free and you don't need to uh, pay anything. It's running within your browser. You don't need to install things on your computer. All you need is just go to the uh, URL, uh, demo.leafmap.org, and then it will take you to this homepage. So next, I'm going to show you how you can actually run the notebooks. So you are welcome to pick any of those. As I mentioned, not all the notebooks will work uh, with Jupyter Live. Uh, especially if you're trying to download data or if you're using geopandas or uh, raster io some of those packages they are not available uh not compatible with Jupyter light yet but hopefully in the future it might be but for now i'm going to show you uh, some of the simple example if, it, if you're just using uh, ipad widget um for example ipad leaf map um you should be able to use that directly so for example let's open the second tutorial and so the only difference here uh, is that we are instead of using the exclamation here we're using the percentage sign pip install and then leaf map uh, this queue means it's a quiet mode so it doesn't print out the messages and so all you need is just simply uh, click the run button and the first time when you install uh, it might take a couple uh, 10 20 seconds so just be patient you see it's done and then you just import leaf map uh, just like what you usually do with Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab and then you should be able to create a map so just exactly like that and again this is uh, from a static website it's not from a dynamic server so you can uh, run that easily within your computer you can also do it on your cell phone or your tablet 
uh, because it's just like a virtual environment within your browser and, and you because these features only use the ipad leaf like a protein back end so it's not complicated uh, not many dependencies so it works just fine and all the two bars for example here upper right corner it works as well so you can turn the layer on and off you can check uh, the boxes and so other two boxes also work um, you can continue to run other two for example i can add uh, some esri uh, base map or you can add any xyz tie data layers you see all of them works um, as expected next i'm going to show you another example maybe uh, number 10 add vector data so similarly every time when you open the notebook you have to install that because uh, right now it doesn't provide a functionality for you to, uh, to pre-install the package so you have to install that but uh, it's only like less than 10 seconds so uh, works just fine and then you can import that uh, similarly you can create a map uh, you can also add some vector data let me show you here uh, this one adds a geotation from the internet right and then you pass in the URL, you add the geotation data, then you should be able to see this one. And so, at low right corner here, you should be able to see uh, the pop up, right? The uh, attribute table for each specific feature that when my mouse hover over the feature. And uh, if you don't need that, uh, you can um, minimize that or you can open it. Besides uh, uh, polyline, you can also do polygon. So, this one uh, is a country polygon, right? So, you can just open the data just one line of code and then you can just fill in a random color uh, for the polygon uh, pretty easy and uh, there are some of the functions you get welcome to try it out again uh, not every feature is supported especially by downloading the data because uh, this is a static website the regular request uh, module doesn't work right now in Jupyter Lite so I have to make some modifications but um, if you're just using Folium or, or if I leave it, uh, everything just should work out of a box. So for example, next one, uh, split control, right? So if you want to create some uh, split maps uh, using either Folium or if I leave it, uh, you can use this one directly. So it allows you to create a map. Um, and if you need additional packages, you can just pip install and then the name of the packages. Uh, it makes sure that the packages that uh, does not require a specific Python version, uh, then you can be installed directly in here. I'm going to show you some examples later, but for now, for example, they say I want to create a split map, right? So this one using the Folium uh, protein backend, right? So you can use the slider, you can zoom in, you can zoom out uh, very nicely. So um, everything just a URL, that's it. And there are a lot more examples here. Uh, you are welcome to try it out. Um, so in the future, when I'm um, create a video tutorial. Sometimes I will use the stupid light um, rather than um, Google Collab. Google Collab actually takes longer time to install the package. Uh, Jupyter Lite right now it takes uh, um, less time. So, but you're welcome to try either using Google Collab or a Binder or Amazon uh, SageMaker Studio Lab, uh, whatever way you want. And so next, I'm showing you how you can install additional packages. So let me uh, maybe create a new notebook uh, so that we can start from uh, scratch. Assume this is a new notebook that we have and then I want to install some additional packages. Earlier when I show you the, um, the notebook, uh, uh, the GitHub homepage, actually this instruction here. So there are two ways you can install packages uh, within Jupyter Lite. You can use this one, um, percentage sign pip install and then the name of the package or you can use the Python way. So import pip light just like pip pip install and this one here it makes sure that you put a wait because this is asynchronous and you need to wait until this one is finished so using the await and then pip light dot install then the name of the package so this can also be a list if you want to install multiple packages uh, you can do that and so the next one i'm showing you is actually using um uh, install GeoPandas uh, because by default GeoPandas is not supported because it has some dependencies that require on um, C uh, for example GDAO so some of those packages right now are not supported yet so you don't want to install the dependencies uh, but if you're just using GeoPandas and uh, Shapely and also uh, 
a pipe uh, PROZ, then you can install those. So let me just simply copy and then come back to uh, Jupyter Lite uh, paste uh, run. So this might take a um, couple seconds. So what we are doing here, we are installing GeoPanda, Swably, and uh, PLG. And after that, you can just uh, import Geo Geo uh, Pandas as GPT, right? Oops. Oh, Pandas is not imported yet. So you need to uh, import Pandas. So let's say import Pandas as PD. I believe Panda is auto already pre-installed, so it used to be fine. And then after this, you see it's done, and I can say GPT dot. Maybe let me see if we can see the version. Uh, point twelve point one, right? Again, if I'm using some complicated features of the Geo Pandas package, this might not be supported. So I just want to keep that in mind. But um, some of the functions are already supported, so we can use Geo Pandas together with leafmap, uh, ipylivlet, or folium, or some other packages and the last one maybe let me show you how about um, this one bulky so this is a new uh, protein backend that i added recently so it allows you also to create um, maps using the bulky uh, package it's a very popular one uh, for visualization so here i'm installing leafmap but you also need to install um, Okay, so do the same thing. B O K H. Uh, it's only take a couple seconds. Again, replace the exclamation. Uh, this is just for regular Jupyter Lab. If you need to install the packages, but if you want to install packages using Jupyter Lab, then you put this one and then the name of the package. And once you have that, you can see, for example, oops, uh, I need to import the uh, leaf uh, the bulkhead uh, protein backend. And then you can start creating the maps. Okay, take a look. Right. So now this is not a uh, folium or ipy leaf. That this is using the protein backend, but the leaf, uh, the base map are the same using the open stream map. And you can do other uh, cool stuff. Right. You can create the map center somewhere else. So welcome to silos out. Uh, and um, I've not tested. Uh, all the uh, noble examples yet as i mentioned some of those might not work uh, because if you're trying to download data uh, i need to rewrite the function so that i can use uh, the downloading function packages uh, supported by jupyter Lite. but once you have this um, if you open the link next time it will probably all the, um, the notebooks will still be like this so keep that in mind right so if i close this one i close this one and, and leave and next time when you open uh, the, the packages uh, the, the notebook will speed with there so for example if i go to leave map again and then i'll click the link and when it loads up oh it's gone okay interesting sometimes it might still be there um so in that way you see here number seven number six right they are all supposed to be the same one um, the reason for those is that all those notebook that you open execute it uh, it stores a copy on your computer right so now if i open it it's it's the source code the same as the one that i opened before if i update the repo and if you want to use the the most updated one then you need to clear uh the cache on your computer so that you can receive the latest one so again you my here eight minutes ago six minutes ago um so if i close them close them then you can open uh, there's also instruction here on the repo uh, readme file so this shows you how you can do that so i'm going to go to here uh, settings more tools um, developer tools <coughs> excuse me and then click the tab app, uh, application on the left side under storage index uh, gb oh it's no uh, it's now gone. Let me reopen this one. Uh, demo. Dog diff map. Uh, sometimes it needs to be open uh, in order to be able to see that. More tools. Developer tools. Uh, index uh, DB. And then this one. So on the right here, if I click checkpoints, you will see some of the files that are open earlier. Uh, these are the kind of local copy within your browser. 
and also under the files so those are things that uh, earlier when I execute it and make changes so it might save something on here if you want to get the latest copy you don't want to keep this so just come here right click clear right click clear and then uh, just re refresh the, the, the page you should see the latest one so now you take a look uh, this all one day ago that I when I updated so if I open this one right it's not one anymore so those are basically the fresh copy uh, this one sometimes can be annoying uh, I hope there's a, a, a easy way that it has a button for you to retrieve but uh, Jupiter let uh, Jupiter light does not have that right now so you have to follow the instruction if you need to uh, clear uh, the case okay so anyway so this uh, kind of very brief introduction to using uh, uh, leaf map with Jupiter light as I mentioned, not all the packages are supported. So if you're trying to, uh, how about this? If you're trying to install, for example, uh, GMAP, uh, it won't work because uh, not all the GMAP dependencies are supported. So if I'm using um, install uh, libmap, it should work just fine. But if you change to GMAP and then if you put comma, uh, tab, uh, shift tab you should see there are some additional parameters and so if you want to figure out uh, whether that package is supported or not or why it's not supported then you can use this called keep going keep going means it's going to install all the dependencies and tell you uh, why it's not supported so you then you really have to uh, deal with those dependencies uh, for deep map i was able to resolve but for gmap it's not uh, because there are many more packages that um, right now no, uh, do not have the pure Python wheel, right? Uh, OS Engine API and some of those, and it's a bit complicated, but uh, hopefully in the future, uh, you'll be supported. But for now, uh, Google Engine is not supported, but uh, you can try it with uh, a div map. Even just, even just using um, um, GMAP without dependencies, it might work. But anyway, so that's for uh, Google sending and other than that, uh, you're welcome to try it out. You can in, use a uh, NumPy, Pandas, and some of the um, uh, or SciPy, some of the very commonly used uh, packages for doing data science or data analytics. It's already supported, so you don't need anything else. So all you need is just open the link and then you can start practicing without having to uh, using other cloud company environment um, that you, you need to log into account. So this can be pretty useful, especially if you're doing teaching or you're doing a workshop and then you want other you able to use that because you can put all your data and all your notebooks within here. And then when users open it, they can directly read the data uh, from this notebook. Uh, basically, you just put your stuff within this directory or under your the, uh, the contents directory. And then once you push the changes, it's going to be able to automatically deploy the website so it's just one simple uh, YML uh, essentially after you make changes uh, it's going to uh, build the website using Superlight and then deploy to GitHub pages and after that you should have the page up and running and um, usually it will be your username dot github dot io and then slash the name of your repo uh, because but I have a, a custom domain so I can use uh, this one here Maybe click the link, it will take you to the same uh, website. Um, so this is how you can uh, use it uh, for some lightweight uh, computing. Um, okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I hope you find it useful. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.